Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the 105FH18B2, the French Tier 5 Premium SPG that we know as Fifi La Pew Pew. You might know it's a Lepi, a Leaf Blower, or a Heifer. This one is located on the Westbourne of Outpost under the command of Quizrat. Sounds like he's got, um, yes, a certain tough man as his commander. Yes, Chuck Norris gets around everywhere nowadays, doesn't he? Okay, well, after knocking down a tree, knocking down a couple of trees, actually, he's found himself a nice little nest to fly from. It's a 105 millimeter light field howitzer it's capable of doing 410 alpha and penetrating 53 millimeters of armor with a 1.91 meters burst radius and he also has heat rounds which is 350 alpha 104 millimeters of pen and uh, also armor piercing rounds if he needs those as well for 350. okay he's spotted a couple of enemy tanks rounds out oh my gum well, he wiped that guy out completely. That was the T6 medium. Well, it was. It's now a smoking wreck. He absolutely annihilated it with the first shot. Okay, switching targets. Found a chatty 594 rather moving rather quickly. Who stopped behind the house? Oh, well, he's hiding. Okay, let's see if we can get a shot on him. Very difficult at that angle. Okay, we do have other targets, though. Tiger 131 and the Hellcat. The Hellcat's hugging that um, that cliff edge. Well, it's not a cliff edge, actually. Hugging the buildings for cover. Okay, M10 RBFM. Now he's over on the other side of the battlefield. Rounds out. He's pulled back. I'm going to miss that one. It's a very long range, actually. Okay, no joy for that. And the P43. Well, he did enter the uh, grounds of the castle and he's up against our BDR G1B. Now, that could be very dangerous for the BDR, but in fact, it's turned out the other way around because a T-78 just took out the P-43. We're dialing in on the Chaffee, who's suddenly finally come out from behind the house and now he's a uh, wreck. <laughs> Second kill for Quizrat. Okay, it's a tier 6 game with tier 4 tanks in it. That Tiger is determined to bully that Matilda and in fact actually wipes him out. But we managed to get a round in just through the uh, tracks on the front plate. And there's another one. Oh, and that's fatal. That Tiger's not going anywhere anymore. Okay, another Hellcat coming in from that corner. Now, the problem is he's getting way too close and we don't move particularly fast. In fact, we're fairly slow. 28 kilometers an hour maximum speed. That's why it's actually sometimes advisable to put the turbo on your um, on your Fifi because if you do put the turbo on, you can move faster and it's much better to use a turbo than it is to use the uh, camouflage. Rounds out. Oh, that got a kill! T-3485 expired blind. He just went out of existence on that corner. And that's a fourth kill now for Quizrat. Now, who's next? Well, we can see a Matilda on that corner. Looks like the enemy is being torn to shreds. There's only three of them left. We're trying to get a shot on the Matilda. He's gone. In fact, we're too far away from the enemy now. We have to move to get closer if we're going to get any shots at all. In fact, his gun's up as he moves along. Only one enemy left. It's the enemy Fifi, and he's right at the back of the map. We're trying to get in range as fast as possible. We fire one round at long range, but we're dialing in now, trying to get a final shot. And before we can get the shot off, the game is over, and it's a win. Well, that was a very quick battle indeed, and it was the third-class tanker for Quizrat of TSA in the Fifi. 
he managed to get a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got four exactly. A bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 11. And his win rate from the game was 1,677. The reason it was so low, well, it's not low, actually. It's very good. But the fact is, he wasn't able to get more kills because his teams were, oh, his teammates were actually getting huge numbers of kills very quickly and making it very difficult for him to find something to kill. In fact, he did get um, a lovely blind kill on that T3485M. He was sitting on that corner, and of course, we saw that shot went right into the side of the Tiger 131 and took him out of existence after, of course, he was bullying that Matilda on our team. Let's have a look at the team score. When he didn't get the highest damage, that went to the Junu on our team, who managed to get a high caliber and 2,258 hit points of damage. Second highest was the T78, who managed 1,447. Followed by the Panzer Fumfia, who managed to get 1,157. You can see that Quizrak got 769 from that one, but yep, that was pretty good because he was only beaten by one member of the enemy team who got 800 hit points and four members of his own team, which means he's in sixth place when it comes to damage. But when it came to kills, he actually got the top spot because he had four kills, so did the T78, and everyone else in the game only had one kill apiece. When it came to base XP, he's actually a little further down. He's actually in fourth place. Top scorer was the T-78 with 939, 866 to the Junu. The Panzer von Fier managed 852. And then we've got Quizrat with 575. He fired 15 rounds in the game, got five direct hits, three penetrating shots, and four splash. Damage of 769, all of it at more than 300 meters. Uh, I think actually some of the tanks that he actually hit in that one, well, the T-3485, that was a penetrating shot. He also got um, a penetrating shot into the Chaffee and the T-6 medium. He wiped out right at the start of the game. We saw that one. Very big bang as that guy went up. Go back into the rest of the details. We can see he managed to damage six of the enemy, killed four. And he earned 49,643 credits from the game, got a 55,000 mission completion bonus, and 1,303 experience points. But we don't think you would, uh, you don't think we would actually leave you just after one very brief battle. No, we've got a second replay for you. Quiz Rat's been very, very busy. So uh, let's have a look at the second game and see how it gets on in that one. The second replay is on the Arctic region map, otherwise known as Mannerheim Line. Okay, well we're off and moving and looks like we're going to the, just behind the cap area. This one's a tier five game only, so everyone will be equal on tier. And that should provide for some interesting explosions when the enemy tanks encounter these artillery shells. Just moving up. Okay, ready to go. Okay, we see a Chunu coming in straight away. Two RT Eva team. On our team, we've got two Fifis. On the enemy team, they've only got a Gorilla and a Fifi. So they're actually at a slight disadvantage. Okay, let this settle. Bounce out. This looks good. It is a hit. 73 for the first one. It is a KV-1, so difficult to penetrate. Nope, not yet. Let it settle. That's it. Just there. Oh, looks like the other Fifi got a hit. We saw the shell disappear. It's going to do the same. Oh, well, that's another kill for our team. And another kill for our, a Fifi. Now, we think the KV-1 might be on that corner. No, I think he's pulled back. Okay, we see an AMX CLC down in the gully. There's a T-34 shielded on our team down there as well. We can see this ELC trying to pull back. First shot misses, but... Oh, he's gone. Okay, T-14. 
see if we can line this one up. Sometimes it's better not to chase the target, just let it dial in, and then as soon as it's dialed in, just adjust slightly, and then you've got a shot. That's it. Rounds out. Yes, he gets a hit for 157. There's another tank round there as well. T1 Heavy. Rounds out on the T14. Just misses him. Oh, unfortunately, our KV-1's on fire. And he's out the game. That landed next to the T14. Okay. That guy's coming forward. Blind shot. Oh, over the top of him. Again, he's trying to chase the target, which means you're constantly adjusting because of obviously it won't dial in. If you let it dial in first and then adjust, it's a lot quicker. Oh, now they've both gone down the cliff. Oh, and that's killed him. But if we didn't get the kill off that one. The kill actually went to the Panzer Fear Arsenal H. Okay, IKV-103, let it settle. That's it, rounds out. This should hit. It does, and it wipes him out. Okay, any more enemy in sight? Not at the moment, and that's annoying. Except for a Panzerfear F to Spy. There he is, moving quite rapidly. Remember, that's the upgraded version of the Panzer Spear after they met the T-34. Okay, that guy's hiding behind the, the cliff face there. And that's a direct hit for 416. That's a penetrating shot. Goes for it again. And just misses that one, I think. Didn't see where the shell landed. Okay, another IKV. They're fairly thin, actually. When you get hit by an arty round, they tend to be very porous. Rounds out. And a nice hit again, but it's not a penetrating shot. 159 from that one. Already over a thousand hit points of damage. We can't see anything around there. And um, we can't get a shot on the IKV. Unfortunately, he does kill our T1 Heavy. Now, we've got a shot on this a AMX CLC. Oh, we got it with one round and a blind shot at that. That was a good one. Okay, so we know there's a couple coming through the gap there. Got no other tanks around the corner, so they must be coming through. I'd also say that there's probably uh, the KV-1s coming in from the west. We can see them on the mini-map, but nobody's over there to spot. And here comes the M10 RBFM. One shot to kill. Rounds out. Got him. That's three kills now for Quizrat. Here comes the next. Oh, it'd be nice if he could get this one. But that guy goes down to the other Fifi on our team. And now we've got these tanks coming in from the west, the ones I mentioned. We've got a T1 Heavy and a KV-1. They're moving rapidly to try and get past our defenses. He's finding it difficult to actually get a solution. In fact, we've got a whole bunch of the enemy tanks that are coming in from that direction. It's almost like the tanks that came in from the south were acting as a distraction. Rouse out. No, just missed the Wolverine. Yeah, the guys down in the south were purely acting as a distraction whilst uh, this force was coming in from the other direction. Okay, T1 Heavy. Tracked him. Okay, just lead the target a little. Or pick a spot and let the target go through that spot. And normally that will provide you with an accurate hit. You're constantly chasing the target to readjust. And that doesn't help your aim. It actually makes it worse. So pick a spot. Settle on that spot. And then that's it. You've got it right there. But we can't see the targets now. They are getting closer. 
the M10 should spot somebody very, very shortly. And there's the T1 Heavy. Now, pick a spot and then fire. That's it. Okay, try it again. Oh, he down, went down to the M10. The spot you've got is reasonably good. Wolverine coming around the corner, the other side. The other team have only got their uh, PP still alive, and we just lost our stuck guy. We can take this guy out. Just missed him. Hit the rock face. We were spotted. Ow. And he does get a kill, but unfortunately, the enemy RT knows where he is now, so he has to move position. It's a KV-1 over there. Keep moving. Oh, that hurts. That's another hit. Two hits now. And I think a third probably on the way. Yep, just missed. Now we can take out this KV-1. So we're lining it up. There he is. Okay. Just about there. There he is. Yep, that's a hit. And it tracked him. Okay, KV-1 from a different angle to the left. Coming up on the other side. To the left. Watch out. There we go. And he's going to see us. And he has seen us. Wait for the RT. And the KV-1 wipes us out, unfortunately. But the KV-1 goes down. And now there's only two enemies left. The KV-1 on the right side. And, of course, the enemy Fifi, who's just been spotted all the way over from the other side of the battlefield. Now, I don't see how he could be spotted that far. That's way outside render. But it's two left on either team. Now, our team has an M10 RBFM. And, of course, we've also got, an, well, two M10 RBFMs, one of which is full health. And, of course, the Fifi, we have an idea where he is. I'm not sure how that, that Fifi was spotted. Ridiculously long range away. Might be a good idea for that one of our M10s to head south quickly and deal with that Fifi. More than likely, he's going to go through the pass at G7 to try and get to our cap area. It would be silly for him to go all the way down to the end and come directly upwards. Okay, well, we haven't moved to the new tank yet. Obviously, ideally, we'd want to be following the other tank. And since we can't actually see what's going on, we'll follow using free cam. Okay, they're chasing after the KV-1. Okay, we're following the one down here. Unfortunately, we've lost sight of them. And that makes it difficult. We can see the icons on the minimap, but we can't actually see the tanks anymore. No longer in sight of the wreck. Again, another fault with the, uh, the system. We're following the M10 with the most health. Well, again, nobody in sight. 
and we can see each other now. So maybe the uh, the graphics works when you're in sight of each other and not when you're apart. Surprising that they've not seen... Oh, and it looks like the enemy Fifi must have made his way back into the corner. And he's over there. Yes. And there's the KV-1. The KV-1's just been spotted as well. And yes, he's taking fire. And he's gone. Which only leaves the enemy PP. And we can just about make out where he is in the corner. He's behind that bush. That's the two minute warning. There he is. Unfortunately, we've just lost one of the M10s. And the other thief, he's making a charge towards him. Because he knows he's spotted. And he's taking fire. And that's it. That's the end of the game. Well, despite the fact that he got wiped out during the game, Quizrat still managed to get a second-class tanker out of that game, as well as a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got four exactly. And he got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 15. And his win eight from that one, 5,462, which is Super Unicum standard. Let's have a look at team score and see where he was. Well, <clears throat> he did get the highest damage in the game, but he didn't get 20%, and that's why he didn't get the high caliber. He got 1,852 hit points of damage out of that one. The KV-1 on the enemy team managed 1,716. And the third highest, well, that turned out to be the enemy Fifi, who got 1,522 out of that one, and he picked up a Confederate. When it came to kills, he shared the top spot with the M10 RBFM. They both got four kills each. Three kills went to the KV-1 and the M10 on the enemy team, and two kills went to the other Fifi on his team, Magic Crayons, and also to the other Fifi on the enemy team and their T14. And when it came to base XP, he's in second place because the top scorer was the M10, who actually uh, wasn't the one who actually finished the game. He got wiped out just before the game ended. Uh, he got 1,020 base experience points, the only player to get over 1,000 base. And we can see Quizrat got the second highest with 847, followed by the other Fifi on our team with 711. He fired 33 rounds in that game, got 13 direct hits and three penetrating shots and 13 splash. 1,852 hit points of damage, of which 1,731 were at more than 300 meters. So you can see there was some close range shooting in the game. Four hits received, three of those penetrated, and one non, uh, one splash damage from the enemy RT. Yes, uh, the enemy Fifi was determined to try and kill him. He must have been a fairly good player as well. I suspect he moved forward so he could get the uh, our cap area in range early on during that battle, but then returned when he realized that the KV-1 wasn't going to try and make a penetration, because if he did, he was more like, likely to get taken out by the two M10 RBFMs, which is probably a wise decision, actually, because if he had pushed through, he would have left the only Fifi left on the team alive, and, of course, our team would have then ventured over to the enemy cap area and done what they actually did in the end. So he also got nine enemy vehicles damaged, Quizrat, four killed, 112 hit points of damage assistance. He earned 3,017 credits on a free-to-play account and 1,920 experience points out of it as well. So two decent games, this one lasting a little longer than the other because this one was over in 13 minutes and 26 seconds. And if you recall in the previous game, it was actually over in just 4 minutes 23 seconds. So a decent amount for two battles. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give these videos a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.